Remember this, your life is not about you. Rather, your life is about the lives of everyone you touch. When you make your life about the lives of everyone you touch, you will never wake up feeling anxiety or worry or stress again. The red pill, its only promise, its only promise is the truth. That's it. It's not saying that it's going to make things better. It's simply going to reveal the way that the world really is. And that for me was incredibly intoxicating. And I took the red pill intellectually. And what I began to realize is that the mind is the matrix in and of itself. Because I can tell you right now, today, in this moment, I promise you, the matrix has you. You know, I want to live in a world in which the vast majority of people wake up every single morning inspired to go to work, feel safe when they're there, and come home fulfilled at the end of the day. That is not the world we live in now. That is the world I want to live in, and that is the world I want my friends and family to live in. The true goals, true intention comes from within. And when it comes from within, you tend to have more emotion towards it. Because I can do something, and if I can do it better than others, and it's for a greater good in society, I would be irresponsible if I did not. But many people look for meaning in life, as though they will, you know, I'm still searching for meaning in what my life, as though it's gonna be under a rock. You have more power than that. You have the power to create meaning in your life rather than passively look for it. This is water. To a fish, water is so ubiquitous it ceases to exist. Now we all have that same thing and it's playing on us and it's keeping us from becoming who we want to become. And that thing is our mindset, it's our belief system. It is so ever present, it is so ingrained into the fabric of who you are and the way that you process data you don't even notice it. You don't even know that it's real. And this is the thing that impacts your life. It is your inability to see that your mindset controls everything, that it is water in and of itself. That once you become aware of the water, you can change everything. That you can go from a scared, lost kid in Tacoma to whomever you want to be. Uh, have I, by whatever powers I have available to me, have I lessened the suffering of others? Or the corollary to that would be, have I enhanced the life of others? They're related. And I don't mean, have I devoted the whole day to doing that? Then I would be ignoring myself. But if there's some small gesture that I can do that can completely add value to someone's life, I'm going to do it because the leveraging of 10 minutes of my life into the happiness or enlightenment or the reduced suffering of someone else, I'd be irresponsible if I did not. And that one third or not all of my life is generated through pure intention. There's a large portion of it, Marie says one third, that is your soul's intention for you. In other words, it is people that you are meant to meet and it's predetermined, it's situations you're meant to go through and you're meant to experience these situations and sometimes it's pain and failure that you're meant to go through so your soul can learn and you want to surrender into this. Now, and but what this means is accept uncertainty. If you have three goals, one may just not be in your soul's path. That's okay. Once you pick a meaning, which is always your choice, then you can start to build a great life. Stories are the outpicturing or the way we tell the own journey that we have to go through. And most people live vicariously through a film. So many people in the world today are obsessed with this idea called the law of attraction. But I can tell you the law of attraction is, is wrong. 
The universe doesn't give you what you want. The universe gives you who you are. Don't think law of attraction. Think law of resonance. In other words, you have to be that which you want. And then the universe responds. If that's the game that we're playing, if I can construct my belief system, if I can choose at any moment to believe something that's more empowering, one can have no smaller or greater mastery than mastery over oneself. On my tombstone, I want the epitaph, be ashamed to die until you have scored some victory for humanity. Any of us, I think, should want the world to be a little better off for you having lived in it. But what do you have to give with no expectation of return? <laughs>